One player is wanted by the FBI. Another went from playing with Ronaldo to now cleaning up human feces. But before we get to those, Ronaldo Nazario went from looking like this to this. How did he go from being the best striker in the world to being heavier than Tyson Fury? Cause he wasn't always this fat. He started off his pro career looking completely different and scored 33 goals in 30 games during his first season in the Netherlands. After that, he was considered the most talented striker in the world. Transferred to Barcelona in 96, where he scored the only goal in the Champions League final and won the Ballon d'Or. Things were looking good for him, but his success quickly got to his head. He started skipping workouts, was often spotted drinking. Rumors came out that he had a gambling addiction and whenever he threw a party, buses full of ladies would turn up. So nobody was surprised when his body started giving up on him. He suffered one injury after the other and left the European fields in 2009. He couldn't control his weight anymore and retired only two years later. Things got so bad, he eventually signed up for a Brazilian weight loss show back in 2013. And the results are clearly phenomenal. But as the years went on, he slowly gained it back due to a medical condition that can result in weight gain. But that's only one player who let himself go. You still gotta get to the football player who is wanted by the FBI and the legend that smashed his brother's wife. But before we get to those, we gotta talk about Kareem Benzema's downfall. Cause this dude let himself go so hard, it actually got him jail time. It seemed like any other day at the French national team training ground back in 2015. Benzema and his buddy Matthew Valbuena were playing around and having a good time. It seemed all good, until Valbuena started receiving weird messages from an anonymous number, threatening they'd post a dirty video of him if he didn't transfer some cash. Valbuena panicked because this type of content wasn't meant for the world to see. He contacted the police and they immediately started an investigation. He also told his good old pal Benzema, you know, like friends do. He wanted his support, but instead Kareem urged him just to pay off the blackmailers, which the police felt was kind of suspicious. So they tapped his phone and shortly after, Roma Madrid forward Karen Benzema has been found guilty of complicity in the attempted blackmail of former France teammate uh, Mathieu Falbuena over a sex tape and sentenced to a one-year suspended jail term by a court. I really don't understand why Benzema let himself go like that. Dude's been making millions since he was 18. Why risk your entire legacy for a couple of pennies? Obviously, he thought he could get away with it, but instead he was suspended from the French national team and got a 75 thousand euro fine. That's literally pocket change now that he's making a hundred million euros per year in Saudi. But not all ex-Madrid players do so well for themselves, because Royston Drent went from playing with Ronaldo to now cleaning up human feces. At only 19 years old, Royston was doing things not many players could do, and single-handedly secured the European Cup for the Netherlands under 21. His skills shocked the biggest clubs in the world. Barcelona and Chelsea kept calling, and even though Royston's family said he wasn't ready for a move like that, he signed for Real Madrid anyways, where he played with Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, Ramos, Van Nistelrooy, and many other legends. He bought his dream house, an Audi Q7, a Porsche Cayenne, a Ferrari, earned 1.6 million a year, and also got a 500,000 euro signing bonus. As a kid that grew up on the streets, that much money felt unreal. I think that for every player, so a bit of a dream is to play for Madrid to make a play. But that dream didn't last very long it became obvious he made a huge mistake. Two weeks in, he was already drinking and driving, hit a cop car, but somehow got away with it because of the star status Madrid players had. He played the first couple games that season, but sat on the sidelines more and more as the season progressed. He only played 18 league games and scored twice that season. Madrid fans were not happy with that and turned against him, so much so that he developed a fear of failure that started affecting his performance even more. The pressure was too high. So to cope with that, he started looking for distractions. His life was slowly falling apart before our eyes, and people around him didn't make the situation any better. He went on loan to Everton, but chose money over football and continued his career in Russia, Turkey, and Abu Dhabi. And with all that money, Royston doubled down on his bad habits. Booze, women, gambling, and yachts became a weekly routine. So when he was cut off from all his well-paying clubs after spending the majority of his money, all his friends disappeared and things got ugly. Royston started playing for Real Murcia in the third Spanish league. He fell completely out of shape. 
got accused of money laundering. His gambling addiction got even worse than it already was, and in 2020, he was declared bankrupt. The guy who was once seen as Madrid's next big thing blew all his money and has been working in healthcare ever since. The life of a pro footballer doesn't get more downhill than that. Except if we're talking about Ryan Giggs, because what he did to his own brother has gone down as one of the biggest betrayals in history. He and his little bro Rodri were best friends. They experienced Ryan's success together. 13 Premier League titles, the 2008 Champions League. They seemed like the perfect family. Ryan had two children with his wife Stacy, and Rodri was happily married to Natasha. But deep down, Ryan and Natasha had a dark secret that got exposed in 2011. Ryan Giggs accepts he's known around the world for two things, his abilities as a footballer, his inability to remain faithful to his partners. And just like that, one of England's most beloved footballers had officially ruined his reputation and lost respect from the entire world. I was a whole kind of emotions, numbness, uh, shock, disbelief, a lot of things. Really. He denied it initially, didn't he? Yes. And how did yes. you, how did you uh, uh, manage to prove that you knew? I had said to him I had texts and pictures, and that's when he admitted it. We met um, in hotels. Um, I worked as an estate agent, so I had access to properties. It would meet in, in various properties at different times. So you, you'd have houses that you're about to show, and you'd say, listen, there's a house up the road. Yeah. I'll see you there at 12. The, yeah. the punters are coming to look at it at 1. Or well, depending on how I much time we have together. No, I mean, obviously I would make sure that nobody else was going to be there at any point, but okay. yeah, that's pretty much how it was done. Ryan's wife, Tracy, couldn't stick by his side any longer and divorced him in 2017. The Giggs brothers haven't spoken for years. Ryan has never apologized, so the hate between the brothers who once loved each other so much has never gone away. But at least he's still able to go into his own country, unlike Quincy Promise, who had to flee out of the Netherlands to avoid jail time. Because instead of pursuing a promising career, he risked it all and is now a wanted man. International investigations, smuggling illegal substances, and even attempted murder. And now hiding in Moscow to avoid his sentence. And ironically, this wasn't a surprise to anyone who knew Promise. Because from a young age, he was already seen as a problematic kid. At the age of 10, he started skipping school to hang out on the street. And at 16, he was even kicked from the IX Youth Academy for bad behavior. So he had to continue his career at a less prestigious club. But his skills didn't go unnoticed there. And he quickly transferred to FC20 where he signed his first pro contract. Unfortunately, he was still too young to make it to the starting squad, so he was sent to Go Ahead Eagles on a loan to get some minutes in. And that's where he met Eric Ten Hag, the current Man United coach. The two got along really well, and Promes exceeded all expectations, earning himself the nickname Pro Messi. Twente had no choice but to bring him back in 2013, and even at the highest level, he kept on scoring. Sevilla and Juventus were desperate to sign him, but their salaries didn't come close to what Spartak Moscow was willing to pay. So instead of playing on the highest level in Europe, he hopped on a flight to Russia, earning himself a new nickname, Money Wolf Promise, which we'll talk about later in the video. And also in Russia, Quincy did what he did best, score goals. But now that he was finally earning the money he had dreamed about, he immediately started showing off. Iced out watches, supercars. Dude even started rapping and shooting expensive music videos to flex on everyone who had ever doubted him. But none of these distractions affected his performance on the pitch. He became Player of the Month in August, September, October, and November of 2015, making clubs like Inter and Liverpool eager to sign him. And again, instead of going to a top club, Money Wolf Promise used that interest to get himself an even better contract in Moscow. He was now earning more money than ever and secured Spartak's first league title in 16 years. Russian fans loved him and were even more thrilled when he also refused to sign for Manchester United the year after. But after failing to qualify for the Champions League in 2018, Promes decided it was finally time to leave. Hola, soy Quincy Promes. Yo muy feliz estar en Sevilla. Vamos mi Sevilla, Sevilla campeón. But that transfer turned out to be a huge flop. He only scored twice in 33 appearances and left after one season to then reunite with his old coach at Ajax, where his salary was significantly lower than in Moscow. And not long after touching down in Amsterdam, things went horribly wrong. Quincy Promes is vanochtend gearresteerd door de politie. Uh, dat is gebeurd uh, na een onderzoek naar aanleiding van een steekincident wat deze zomer heeft plaatsgevonden tijdens een familielees, feest 
uh, waar Quincy uh, Gomez volgens de verdenkingen iemand zou hebben neergestoken. But that incident was just the tip of the iceberg. Ramez was released after a couple days because the police were still investigating the case and in the following months, the incident heavily affected his career. He received lots of criticism in the media. The Dutch national team dropped him and his form reached an all-time low. So in February 2021, he booked a one-way ticket back to Moscow, signed with Spartak again, and soon it became clear why he wanted to escape the country so fast. Ja, veroordeeld tot anderhalf jaar cel werd uh, Quincy Promes gisteren uh, voor het neersteken van zijn neef op een familiefeestje. En ook is hij nog verdachte in een grote drugszaak. Ja, yeah, the Dutch striker wasn't just sentenced for one crime, but he was also suspected of importing 1,300 kilos of an illegal substance with a market value of 75 million euros. The Dutch police wants to put him on trial for that, but there's no chance of that happening anytime soon because he's still playing in Moscow and Russia doesn't have an extradition contract with the Netherlands. And Promes knows that. So he's now trying to get a Russian passport so he never has to return to the Netherlands to escape jail time. In principe zit hij veilig zolang hij gewoon voor Spartak voetbalt. Um, Rusland heeft in de grondwet staan dat ze alleen eigen staatsburgers niet mogen uitzetten. Dus in theorie, hè, als zijn verblijfsvergunning en zijn contract weg zijn, dan heeft hij wel een probleem. Omdat hij dus geen Russisch staatsburger is. En dat wil hij heel graag, want dat is natuurlijk een bescherming voor hem. God damn, this guy went way too far and should man up and face the consequences of his actions. But not all football stories are as crazy as this one. Some are actually really emotional, like this player who lost his leg in a plane crash. Click that video right here.